G'day, my name is Matthew Cutler Welsh. Home is where the heart is. It's also where the lungs are, where our eyes, where our ears are, where our whole bodies are, and where our minds are. The home is where we spend around 70 to 90% of our time. Think about that. The average person spends around three quarters of their day in their house. The home is where we sleep, it's where we eat, it's where we play, it's where we dream. Yet for many, the dream is actually owning a home. Recently, I asked a group of builders why it was that they build. Why do they do what they do? For most, it was just a way that they made money. And that was usually reason enough. But I pushed them a bit further. There are other ways to make good money these days that don't require hard physical work. Perhaps for some, it was the joy of putting things together, of building, of creating. I encourage them to realise that they each had a special gift of taking lines from a piece of paper and creating something complex and real in the real world. That's a craft, an art, and it's worth celebrating. Perhaps it was problem solving that they enjoyed. Perhaps they were inspired by someone when they were younger and they always knew that they wanted to be a builder. And now that they are a builder, are they not inspired and motivated or even moved at that moment at the end of a project when they hand over the keys. Do they realise at that point that they're actually fulfilling someone's dream in a lot of cases? Because a house, after all, for many of us, is our biggest investment of our lives. Not just financially, but also emotionally. I proposed also that it was probably not builder's intent that they wanted to save the planet. Nor did they probably become a builder because they wanted to be a health professional. But here's the thing. Our buildings and the way we use them are making our planet sick. And they're making us sick. For example, here in New Zealand we have the second highest rate of asthma in the whole world. Asthma is the leading cause of our children going to hospital and it affects one in four of our children. That is a really scary statistic and we have to look at why that's the case and where that's coming from. So like it or not, I propose that anyone in the home building industry has a responsibility and therefore an opportunity to create good homes. With so much of our time spent inside our homes, how can our buildings not impact our health? And in turn, those that are responsible for creating those homes are in part somewhere responsible. So I put it to members of the building industry that we have just as much to do with the medical profession and health industry as doctors and hospitals. Because let's face it, most of the medical industry is not really about health. It's about sickness. We don't go to the doctor until we start to feel the effects on our body, on our lungs, on our heart, on our eyes, on our ears. It's when things start to go wrong that we go and see a doctor. So what's the purpose of a house? Well, as Gaston Bachelard described, he said, if I were asked to name the chief benefit of a house, I should say this. The house shelters daydreaming. The house protects the dreamer. The house allows one to dream in, in peace. If houses are only there to generate a profit for the supplier, then I think we have succeeded in making the house a disposable commodity. And with that, we risk disposing of health, disposing of community, disposing of prosperity, and disposing of dreams. To dream, do dreamers, do dreams have a place in modern business? Designers and builders today run a pretty tight ship. They run on very small margins, and they have a responsibility to themselves and their families and their staff members to run a profitable business. But is it such a crazy idea to create a business, to make a living, making something that is good, something worthwhile, something enjoyable and something to be proud of, not just something that's compliant? The skeptic might ask, is it responsible to build a modern successful business based on dreams? Others might reply, is there any other way?